Yo, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to add a fog area to your Gorilla Tag fan game. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the Google Drive link in the description of this video, and you are going to download this script. I already have it downloaded. I'm not going to download it. And then you're going to go to your fan game. You're going to go to wherever you keep your scripts, the My Scripts folder. And you're going to right click, import new asset, and then you're going to find the script that you downloaded, click it, and then press import. And you should find it in your scripts. Fog change. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to add an empty object or 3D object and then a cube. Um, I'm going to do the empty object. And then you're going to go over to it, and then you're going to press Add Component, Box Collider, Is Trigger, and then you're going to drag the script onto it. So now what you're going to do is basically, you're just going to use the Scale tool to scale up the Box Collider to the area that you want it to be. So you can use the Scale tool basically you're just going to scale it up to the area that you want the fog to be in. So there, that looks good. So now this entire area will be foggy. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to double click on the script and then you're going to go down to where it says private void on trigger exit it's line 22 and then right here at line 27 you're going to uh, mark that just keep it highlighted so that you can find it again then you're going to go to unity and then you're going to go to lighting uh, if you don't have lighting there you might have to go to window panels and then lighting number six and then that will be right here so then you're going to go to environment other settings and then fog now if fog is not ticked you can go down to here and turn the 0.01 F to just zero but um, you can also just change your fog to look like that because what that what this does is when your player exits the fog um, it's transitioning to having the default fog settings or having no fog. Let me just save that because I modified it a little bit. Um, yeah, default fog, fog settings, like, as you can see here in this comment. Um, so you're just going to set it to what you have as default. Um, so then you're going to go to your game object and you can like rename it since this is like in the basement area. I'm going to name it Basement Fog, and then I'm going to drag it under my Fog Parent. So then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to change the Fog's color and uh, the density. So that's like how thick the Fog is and what color the Fog is, obviously. And the transition duration, which is how long it takes to change color. I like 0.75. And then, as you can see here, player tag, where it says body. So you're going to go to um, Gorilla Rig, and you're going to unclick that. And you're going to go to Gorilla Player, unclick that. Main camera, unclick that. And then capsule. And then you're going to have the tag on the capsule be body. And if it's not there, what you can do is you can add the tag, and then you can press plus and then type in body. I already have it, so I'm not going to do that. So now, one last thing. Right now, if you try to, um, hold up, let me fix this. Um, you're going to want to have gizmos on, by the way, so that you can see the box collider. Um, if you try unselecting it and it doesn't show up, you'll look up box and then find box slider, untick it, retick it, and it's there. So now, if you try to go down here, 
all that will happen now is that you'll just hover in the air. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to layer, and then you're gonna, um, if you already have no collide, you can just press it. But if you don't, you gotta add layer, you type in no collide, exactly like that. Capital N, lowercase o, capital C, lowercase o, L-L-I-D-E. And then you're gonna set that layer to no collide, and that basically lets you clip through it. So now, as you can see, I'm testing out the game. So I'm just going to drag my gorilla player over into the basement area. So as I was saying, I'm going to drag my player into the elevator area. And I'm going to drop it down. And as you can see, it changes to like a dark fog. And as you can see here, it actually did change it. And when you leave it, um, it does change back. So anyway, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and um, I hope you guys find it useful.